Hey guys, Samish here and today I'm going to show you how to do a fresh install of Expanse and then find a Horizon or other build in my wizard that you like. So as you can see, I've got Cody 17. What you're going to want to do is go up to the cog, hit that, go to File Manager, Once you're on file manager, you want to go down to add source, and in the box it says none. We want to hit enter on that or click your enter button on your remote, and we want to type in this address here http dot dot colon colon sandwich dot co dot uk forward slash expanse. Nice, easy to remember. URL so go ahead and click OK on that as you can see it will already label it down there for you expand so again go ahead and click OK now once that's done we want to back out we want to go down to add-ons and then up to this little open box here click on that and then down to install zip file now when I click this it's going to ask us to go into settings there you go so you want to quickly go into settings you want to click OK on unknown sources and click yes then all you want to do is just back out so either escape or the back button in your remote and you'll end up straight back here so again install from zip file and then this will let us install something from a zip file as you can see there the folder is that we created called expanse we want to click on that and then we want to go down and install the Expanse wizard. So you click on that. Now the wizard is a lot bigger than my old wizard because uh, it's got a lot more features in so it takes a little bit longer. And there's, there it is in the top corner, Expanse wizard add-on installed. Now what the new wizard does is it does a whole load of things as well as cleaning your device for you automatically as you can see you can get it to clear the cache you see all these things that it can do I use tracked and I use real debris so these two are perfect for me again I have these all to run on startup so just every time you load your code up for the first time it just gives it a quick sweep and a quick clean and just make sure it's all going to be running super fast uh, so yeah you just want to click OK on that um, and we're going to click ignore on this for a minute so we want to go up to my add-ons as you can see in the corner now the wizard is just doing a quick clean of the device it's not going to find much because it's already a uh, clean Cody so we want to go to program add-ons and there's the expanse wizard there so we want to click on that and click open so this is how what it looks like let's see if we can just change the view of it that's a bit better so as you can see we have builds we have maintenance, we have data and contact etc. So we're going to want to go ahead and install one of the horizon builds so we want to click on expanse builds and it puts into two sections for you. So at the minute we have Krypton which is obviously Cody 17 and then Jarvis which is Cody 16.1 so these are all the horizon, Sirius and we have just started hosting other people's builds so someone called Tug has asked me to have his on there there it is and then obviously we have Horizon for Cody 16.1 all you want to do is go ahead and click one of these I'm going to quickly click the light version because it's the easiest one to install as it's the smallest so you can either do a standard install or a fresh install I'm just going to go ahead and do a standard install because I've already got a fresh Cody built in so go ahead yes to install and there you go you see it downloading uh, my new servers as you can see are pretty fast so I'm going to quickly let that sweep through and I'll catch you after So there you go, it's downloaded and um, extracted. So what you can do now is force close and unlike a lot of other wizards, 
hopefully when you click force close instead of telling you to force close it yourself it should do it for you so there you go so let's load it back up and we should have a nice clean horizon light build on here and the expanse wizard, wizard in the corner keeping it all clean for us again if you were going to update or if I push an update through for my build then it's really easy you just go back into expanse wizard and um, click update and you still can keep your favorites you can keep your tracks you can keep your real debris so it's not like doing a fresh install every time it is more like doing just an update so there it is guys that's it all done I uh, hope the tutorial was pretty easy if I've gone too fast you just slow it down or pause it remember to like and subscribe and if you get stuck or you just want some information you can find me on twitter it's just running across the screen now at sandwich1986 so yeah guys like and subscribe thank you very much uh, see you soon